So sometimes you may not want to use the text of a radio button to identify it, right? You may just want to identify the radio button based on its order. And that is pretty easy to do. So all you have to think about is what are, is the type of the radio button? In this case, it's input, 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 right? So let's get all of the inputs on this page, which you do like that. And if I hit that, it gets me a bunch of the inputs, right? It gets me things that I don't need. So in order to filter those out, let's look at the radio buttons again. They are of type radio, which is of interest to me because it will eliminate everything except the radio buttons. So I'm going to put input and then type equals radio. And then if I hit enter, See that? It only selects the three radio buttons. So now, if I wanted to select the first one, I can just put a bracket here, put a one, and hit enter. And we'll have the selected first radio button. It starts at one, not at zero, unlike all other programming languages. Two would select me that, and three would select me that. Zero. There is no zero, so it doesn't select me anything. So remember, starts at one, and that allows me to select the first button. So that's how we do it here in XPath. Let's go back to our Visual Studio and do that there as well. So here, I already typed out the code for how to use XPath in order to identify our elements. So you can see. We use the simple by class, right, by.xpath, and then we just put in our query that we want, right, which is what we retrieved exactly from Firepath. So just put that in, we find the element, and then we click it, and then that's about it. We don't really even need the back because it's not going to do anything. So let me save this, make sure that nothing else is uncommented, and then we can actually go ahead and run it and see it select our radio button. So I'm just going to do right click here and then do run unit tests. It's going to start running. Here comes our window. And I should have paused it for you guys to see. Let's do that again. Cool. So it selected our radio button using this locator here. All right, you can see we, it returned an element with all of these properties. And now if we click it, let's scroll down. Right now the first one is selected. This one, actually let's select the second one So because this is going to select the first one. So I want to show you guys that it selects the second one. And if we just do a step over, you guys can see how it clicked the first radio button. Pretty awesome, right?